So this week we lost Glenn Webb. For those of you who don't know who Glenn Webb is, he is a YouTuber, he's a reviewer, and a customizer, action figure uh, customizer. Huge into Marvel. He was good friends with Craig Warwick. Uh, Craig Warwick is another big customizer. I think he won one of the uh, ACBA championships with this sick ass Doctor Doom uh, custom with the base and all this stuff with the chair and everything. And they had a podcast together called uh, Articulation Assembled. I used to listen to that shit every day. I listened to it all the way through. A lot of times I didn't agree, but I listened. Um, this right here, and you'll see a couple of them throughout this. Actually, you'll see a bunch of his customs. These are his customs. He was one of the ones that did this Jim Lee Cyclops with the uh, Bucky Cap body, and he did a, a good job. It, it, I mean, it, it, it's. I don't think he was the very first one to do it, and it's possible he could have been, but he made it work, and it looks better than some of the others I've seen. Uh, and he was a huge 90s X-Men fan, just like me. And I enjoyed hearing him go off and <laughs> go nuts about the things that he wanted to see with X-Men and, you know, what it meant to him and, you know, what he would like to see the characters, how he would like to see the characters represented and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, Glenn was, was pretty awesome with the customs. Uh, he definitely was one of those people that, uh, while I didn't know him personally from... Uh, I've, I've spoken to him a couple times, you know, commenting back and forth um, and uh, through the podcast, but I've never really got to like hang out with him or work with him. But what I saw is that he didn't take shit from the fans. A lot of people feel they have to take shit from the fans. You don't have to. Um, he definitely had his own perspective, and that was the whole point of him putting out content was to give you his perspective, not the flavor of the month which is super respectable, and you know me, that's what I'm all about. Um, so I valued that aspect of his approach to reviewing. He didn't compromise. He was not a DC fan, not an Image fan. He was a Marvel fan, and he let you know that shit. And he stuck by it. There was never a, a, a change or a tweak, you know what I mean? That was how he was. And it was uniquely funny. You know, there's some things he thought were, was just so stupid and he he would point it out to you in a way that lets you totally feel what he was talking about. Um, he loved Gene. <laughs> he made jokes about Gene all the time and he improved Hasbro's lame ass uh, Gene, 90's Gene Grey. All she needed was better legs. I think she needed a different body but he still made her look really good. Uh, he was an eBay-holic like myself. Uh, uh, he he <laughs> It's just so weird. I don't know. It's strange because I've never done one of these. Um, and he's one of those people where even though, you know, like I said, I didn't know him personally. But every day for several years, I've been subscribed to him since way back, way back when I first started YouTube. And uh, every day I would watch his reviews because I wasn't into everything Marvel Legends. And every now and then he would review stuff that I was interested in. And then he would let everyone know what he thought of it and if, if it was kind of good or kind of bad and whatnot. It gave me a perspective. But uh, things that I want to take, you know, put out there, I mean, it's probably obvious if you've ever watched any of his videos, he was passionate about his action figures and his superheroes, his Marvel superheroes. And he was blatantly obvious with it. He didn't hold back. And that's the way you should do it. I bet right up until he passed, he was completely engrossed in the next marvel related something that he was going to do you know because that's that was his love that was his passion and that's the way that you everyone if, if there's anything you could take away from the example he set that's what you need to do just stay passionate about what you do i mean a lot of you guys listen to me because you can tell i'm passionate about superheroes and import figures and all that stuff and it's the way to do it what's the point in doing this if you're not going to be passionate enough to continue doing it so, you know, if there's anything you can take away from it, take away from it the fact that Glenn spent a good chunk of his life doing this because he was passionate about it and he did it until the day he died. So he's definitely, when he wakes up in the next life, he's, he's going to be happy. He's going to be doing this, probably doing the same thing. So, Glenn, I just want to say thank you. I want to send my condolences and some love in the direction of your family and everything and let them know that Homeboy was... Just, just an awesome person, gave us a whole lot of fun and a whole lot of win. So thanks. You will be missed.